Hi guys, it's Mark from Flow Themes and today I just want to give you a quick overview of our new theme, Vivi. This video is a video on how to get started with Vivi and how you should prepare uh, for setting up your new website. So the first thing you will want to do before you even download the theme is you'll want to consider uh, items that you should prepare for your website. Uh, these things should be uh, your sitemap, so that is all the pages that you will want to have on your website. And the sitemap is the most imp one of the most important things. That is basically how people navigate through your site. So as you can see here, we have a home, a blog page, about page, portfolio, and contact. So consider what page options that you want to have on your site. Uh, you may also have some hidden pages, but uh, you really should consider at least the pages that you're going to display on the front of the site and in your navigation menu. You should also then prepare any images for your galleries. Uh, we do have a nice article on how to do how to prepare images for your galleries. So head over to the blog and look for the tutorial on pre uh, preparing images for flow themes. Uh, you should also uh, get together your .png files for the logos. Uh, for Vivi, you may want to have uh, a few different logos. One for a light logo, so one that will be uh, visible on dark images. Uh, a dark logo, one that's going to be visible on light images. And you may also want to have a mobile logo. Uh, some people will use this if they've got a long logo and uh, it's not really going to work on the mobile site so they, they create a shorter version. So you might want to have that prepared also. Uh, you should also get a .icon file ready uh, for the favicon and the favicon is this little area up here in the uh, tab of your browser. Um, so get a little file ready for that. If you don't have a, a .icon file I'll show you how to create one uh, shortly. Uh, but you should uh, at least have a .png file with a clear background and you'll be able to create that no problem. So let's get down to it. So uh, now you've got uh, everything ready for your website. You've prepared all the items that you need. Uh, you'll want to uh, download and install your theme. So uh, once you've, you've purchased your theme, you should have received a download link. If you haven't received a download link, you can head over to flowthemes.com forward slash my account. And in here, you will be able to see any of the uh, themes that you have downloaded with Flow Themes or any of the themes that you have purchased. You'll also see all the resources with the themes. There may be icons, uh, some fonts, and the PSD on the layouts. So if you haven't got it already, head over to flowthemes.com forward slash my account, download the theme. Um, it should be a zip folder. If you're on a Mac, it may be a it may be unzipped automatically. Um, but gather everything up and put them into a folder. I, I've created a folder for uh, for my website, so I've created a get getting started folder. And as I mentioned earlier, I have all my resources in one file. Uh, so this is going to make it much easier for me to uh, create my website. Uh, and as I said. The file itself may be unzipped for Mac users, so if it's unzipped, that's fine. You don't need to do anything. If you're on a uh, Windows computer and it's not unzipped, you can go ahead and unzip the file and you'll have uh, your all your resources for Vivi. So head over to your WordPress site. Head on over to Appearance Themes. And in here, you'll want to click Add New. And then you'll want to upload theme. So you'll want to choose the file from your resources. So uh, as I said earlier, it was I went to my get started file. Uh, I've unzipped my vv.zip folder, and inside you'll see another another file called vv.zip. You'll also see some other resources: an export.xml, uh, some first steps, the settings files, and also a child theme. Uh, that's useful if, if you are going to be modifying any of the uh, templates that are in Vivi. But for now, you'll want to upload your vivi.zip file. 
uh, open that, install it. And uh, a note to people, don't activate this theme if you're switching uh, themes. So if you have already got a, a WordPress website, uh, it's live on the internet, don't activate the theme straight away, your website's gonna be a mess. Please head over to our blog and read the article on switching WordPress themes. This is going to give you some uh, better details and ideas on how to best prepare for switching WordPress themes. It also uh, discusses uh, using a maintenance mode plugin uh, and how to uh, utilize that so that your website uh, doesn't look like a mess uh, whenever you're making changes. Uh, for the, those of you that are just starting fresh, you can go ahead and activate the theme. And uh, once you've done that, then you can have a quick look. It pro, it's probably going to be a mess uh, right out the block. Um, you can just see. Let's go here. Uh, and right now, you can see it's 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 kind of a mess. So that's fine. Um, if you want the demo content, you can also download that as well. You can go to uh, Flow Themes, General Settings, and you can select. Uh, the demo version and you can import the dummy data. I'm not going to do that for now, I'm just going to show you quickly how to get everything set up uh, nicely and then later in this series I'm going to show you how to create your uh, contact pages, your portfolio pages, uh, your blog pages and setting up slideshows for the home pages uh, etc. So I'll cover that all in the next videos but for now I just want to give you uh, an idea of what other items you should do before you uh, start customizing your theme. So the first thing you should probably do is get your uh, permalinks you are SEO friendly. So head over to settings permalinks and in here you will probably have the default uh, WordPress URL settings. This is not a, a friendly your or SEO structure. Uh, use post name uh, you can also use month and name, but post name is the preferred uh, structure for uh, for the web. So select post name and save the changes. This will make sure that your URL links are going to be nice and friendly for uh, for search engines. The next thing you will want to do is set your site title. So go to gen uh, settings general, uh, and in here you can set the uh, the site title. So flow themes. And you can also add a tagline. I've added VV Overview. Uh, you can put in whatever you want here. Uh, this is also important for uh, for SEO and for and uh, it will also show up in the results for Google. So you can see here I've got Flow Themes VV Overview that's reflected down here. So uh, add whatever you want in here and then uh, save that. The next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to add your logo. So head over to Flow Themes. And header settings. Uh, there are quite a few items to add for the logo uh, option. Uh, right out of the box, you'll have a text logo, so that will be the site title. Uh, to add an image logo, uh, go over to image logo. You will want to upload a .png file with a clear background. So you can go ahead, click upload. Um, I already have added the files to the media library. If you haven't added it uh, already, you can go back to your resources folder, uh, drag and drop it in, and it will upload right in here. Select it, and it will it will be chosen here. You will also see that there's an area here in, that says enable text logo color based on the slideshow image color. Now this is great for the home slideshow. I'll, I'll give you a quick view of that. So you can see the slideshow right now has got dark images, and uh, it's using a white logo. But for instance, you might have light images or uh, and the light lo white logo isn't going to work for that, so you'll want to upload a dark logo as well. Uh, and this will change if you have selected this option uh, to change uh, whenever the color of the slideshow is dark or light. So turn this on if you want. Uh, you don't have to, but it is a great option. You'll want to then upload a dark logo uh, to show on light slides. Uh, I added the same logo as the main logo um, because it was a dark one. And uh, then you can also upload a light logo. So I've uploaded a white version. Uh, again, it's a .png file with a clear background uh, for any of the dark slides. 
so that it's going to be a white logo it's going to show that real nice contrast and it's and it's going to be really visible to your clients it's really important for your branding uh, you should also then think about setting a max logo width uh, i've set mine to 200 for now uh, you can also set the logo uh, width for mobile devices so I set it to 150. You probably don't want to be going much larger than 250 pixels uh, as you want to take in as many devices as possible and you want them to fit into the screen. Uh, you can also enable a search option and the social links uh, for the header uh, and that will be in the menu. You can see that here. There's a search option and the nice social icons. So you can go ahead and add those as well. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of adding social links now in a moment. So you'll want to save the changes. Uh, for, the social links won't show up straight away. And so you, to add those, you will have to go to flow themes and social networks. And then here you can add all the, the links for your social networks. Uh, you can add, uh, for example, I'll add uh, Twitter and the URL will be uh, twitter.com so it's best the best option is to uh, go to your Twitter account online and copy and paste that straight in otherwise it may not work correctly so I've just copy and pasted that in uh, you can add your custom icons and custom hover icons if required but it's not it's not uh, necessary just close this up and then just save so that will add uh, the Facebook and the Twitter uh, to our site and that will be in the menu uh, the last thing you will want to add is a, a little favicon. And now the favicon is this little icon here up in the navigation menu. And again, you can do that in flow themes, general settings. So that's here. And if you scroll down to custom favicon, you can upload the favicon. As I said before, if you don't have an icon, uh, you can click on this link here. And this will take you to uh, convertico.com and that will convert a .png file uh, to an icon. So I'm going to do that now just to show you. Uh, I've got my small favicon, it's a V, uh, and it's a .png file with a clear background. I'll drag and drop that in. And then you can see here that it will give me a download link for a .icon file. So go ahead and download that. Uh, and then once you have that, you can upload it. Uh, straight into um, the flow themes general settings uh, let's see let me just go to downloads I'll add the icon drag and drop it in uh, select and I'll save those changes uh, it may not show up straight away on here uh, you may need to refresh the page a few times for this to work as you can see it's it's worked straight away which is great um, there is the the V icon here so go ahead and do that and uh, and then you should be ready so that's just a quick overview of getting started. Uh, the next videos will cover how to create the rest of your pages uh, as well as adding slideshows and galleries and blog posts. So uh, continue on in the tutorials and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get your site up, set up in no time. Thanks.